Hey guys, you've reached Epiphany Brew, where everything, say it with me, is fabulously handmade just for you. So, it's crunch time, right? How are you guys doing with the holiday stuff? It's crunch time, it's getting down to the wire, so I'm moving right along. I've done some um, holiday stuff, obviously. If you've seen my other videos, please watch them. Click, like, share, subscribe. Become a subscriber. I'm just starting, and I'd love for you to join me. Every time I post something, I promise it's going to be fabulous. So as I said, I'm moving right along, right? Oh, so let me just show you right quick. Um, I made this apron. It comes with a fabulous pen. Okay? So let's say, you know, you're having dinner. You're cooking for dinner, and uh, you have your apron on. And uh, you want to still look fabulous, right? So I made a pin. Put it right here. Put it wherever you want to put it, okay? I'm going to make a mask to match this, a mask for your face to match this. And what I've done is I have a valance. So if you're in the, you have a kitchen with one window, which a lot of people do, you've got your valance. Um, so it's all still pinned up because I have to finish it. And it's, it's kind of long. Forgive me, because I don't know the measurements offhand right now, but it's got some length to it, as you can see, okay? And so, yeah. Um, so you've got your valance. So the whole idea is you're matching. You're in your kitchen, and you've got your valance to your window, and you've got your apron to match, and you've got your face mask to match, and you've got a lovely pin to match, okay? And so that's that one. Oh, and of course, I always make my aprons with nice, generous pockets, because if you're like me, I love to have my cell phone right on hand. Like if, if I'm cooking and somebody rings the doorbell, I'll go to the doorbell and you never know, you might get locked out. You gotta have your phone with you. Pockets, okay? Gotta have pockets. So there you go. That's this one. That's this one. Nice, generous, long hanger. I mean, tie in the back. Hanger. Tie in the back. And um, yeah, I like it. And uh, you will too. And so I made another one. And this spring is coming right around right around the corner, as we all know. So here's a this one I did make a face mask to go with it. And here's the apron. Same like this one. With the generous uh, pockets again. I didn't make a um a pin to go with this one. Oh, and this one has nice little edging on the bottom. Look at that cute right all right so again you're cooking you got your apron and guess what you've got your valance to match too so this is how everything comes packaged from epiphany food in a nice plastic bag that protects it i've got my card in there with the uh etsy uh, website on it and what does it say it says um home decor and crafts fabulously handmade just for you and it's got the Etsy um, website on it, Etsy.com backslash the word shop backslash Epiphany Brew. Okay, so that's how they come. That's how my stuff comes packaged. Most of them. And so here's your balance. You have two balances here. And this this is a set that comes together. It will be sold together. So um, so this is your balance. And guess what? The valance also has that cute little ball trim on the bottom, which I hand hand uh, stitched because the whole option is is for you to take it off uh, when you when you wash your valance. Uh, you take the trim off, wash it separately. Don't put it in the dryer. Let it hang and dry, and then slip um, slip stitch it back on. Okay, so that's why I didn't sew it on, I slip stitched it on. So, you know what? Uh, if you don't know what a slip stitch is, Google it and you will find out. So, that's okay. I didn't have, I know I took my time and had this folded just right, but I'm not going to bore you with that right now. So, yeah, so this is a set again the apron, the two valances. You might have two valances in your kitchen, and um, card inside, and the mask. So that's that. 
just wanted to show you that as I said spring is right around the corner so you have to get ready right so that's that oh I need my glasses reading glasses okay so that's 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 that one that's that what I want to show you today is so this is videos show and tell and a tutorial so there you have it um this is what I wanted to show you. I made these. Oh, so while I've got you, I'll show you some really nice napkins that I made. They're shiny. I don't know if you can see it. They're glittery. They, they, they have, it's, it's a glitter fabric. Really nice. And of course, I had to make I had to make um napkin rings to go with them. Look at that. Cute, right? I love making napkin rings. I'm I'm obsessed with making napkin rings. This is one of the things that I she brings me joy is to make napkin rings. I really I really love making them. Look at this one. So I've got six of each. I've got six of this one. Here's another one. So here are these. Six of these I've got. Okay. Can you see them? And I've got six of these. And what other pattern do I have? Um, so I think that's it. Oh, no, no, that's not it. There's more. So I made these also. Now this is this trim, this bling, I should say it's green, green bling. And then I put that flower on the top. So this is obviously for a spring table setting, or maybe even a wedding table setting. I know these would be fabulous as a wedding table setting. Also, you know, if you're getting that fancy, which is what a lot of people do these days. Um, so yeah. So I've got six of those, I've got six of these, all of these, I love these, I love that flower, love that flower, and I made six of these, these were mine, I did, these are my personal, because I had these on my table last, um, had these on my table last Christmas, or well, the Christmas before, one of them, so I have six of these. This is my personal stuff right here. The one, this little doodad came in this. Yeah, so I made these napkins and then I just had to make these to go with it. So the bottom line is, is that quickly I'm gonna show you. So you've got your napkin and you grab it from the middle and you pull it up. And you scrunch it down like that, scrunch it down like that, and then you put your napkin ring on, and you've got a beautiful napkin. Look at that. Beautiful. I love this. This glitter fabric is, oh, to die for. Oh my gosh, I love it. So that's the show and tell with that. Just wanted to bring that to you. And let's see what else. So that's that. And oh, um, I bought this. Um, I bought this this piece of clip art that I'm making a pillow. It says exhale. Not pretty. It says exhale. And uh, on the bottom right here it says Epiphany Blue. Can you see that? You, you might be seeing this because um, I'm looking at it and it's backwards, but yeah. It says Epiphany Blue on there. So I'm going to be making a, this is a pillow by the way. It's a pillow. Okay. Uh, quite, it's got some size to it as far as pillows go. Um, so yeah. But some people like a big pillow, so I made that. And then I designed this one. I bought that graphic, it's a graphic, 
That's the word I was looking for. But this I created from scratch. I found the trees, I found the seashells, and I created this one. And this one is my personal because it says, um, what does it say? Living my best, I lived my best life on St. Thomas Virgin Islands. And at the bottom it says Summer Rain, which is my, um, which is my Facebook name. So there you go. And again, this is a pretty big pillow. But um, yeah, once in a while you like a big pillow to lean on, you know? Yeah, because people usually have small little pillows on their bed. But why not a nice big comfy pillow? So I'm making that for myself. And that's that. And what I want to show you today are these that I've made. And I bet you can't guess what this is. I'll open it up. Maybe you can guess. Can you guess what that is? That's the front, and this is the back. That's the back, and this is the front, okay? Can you guess what it is? It's got a nice little hanger, so right away we know that you hang it on the wall, right? All right, I won't keep you in suspense any longer. Where is it? What is this? Everybody uses this, right? This is a TP holder that you can put in your bathroom where you always have an extra roll of TP right at your fingertips and you don't have to run out and you don't have to yell for somebody to bring you a roll, okay? That's what this is, look at that. You hang it on the wall. Cute, right? Look at that. Have fun making these. Yeah, that's kind of, it's light because a roll of TP is not that heavy. So there you have it. That's what this is. So I made three of them already. And I let the um, I let the motif on the on the towel dictate what you know how I was gonna decorate. So of course, you know, these are um sprigs of lavender, and so of course I made a lavender bow and a lavender hanger, and these uh, sprigs of whatever. But there, it might be lavender, but it's in white. I don't know why they would do it in white, but it's some kind of sprig. It looks, does it look like the same thing? Yeah, it's the same sprig. They made it in purple. That's why I thought it was lavender. Um, you know, lavender. Um, so this one's in white. So that's why um, I decided to do a blue bow and a blue hanger on this one to match this one. Okay, so that's another one. And here's a white one. And again... Oh, these flowers of blue, which are pretty. These, these towels are pretty. These are hand towels, by the way, that I looked at the hand towel and I was like, you know what? This hand towel is just too beautiful. This fabric is um, cotton, but it's a very good quality cotton. And I was like, I can't really see wiping my greasy hands in the kitchen with this. What can I make with it? And I have like, hmm got like 20 of them because I bought them from a sale and uh, yeah bought it got them at a steal and I've had them for years because I refuse to use them in the kitchen I mean this beautiful fabric getting s s soiled with grease stains or whatever I said nah I gotta make something else out of it so this is what I came up with yeah so of course I took the blue this this bunch of flowers has blue in it so of course I did a light blue hanger and bow on this one okay so here's one here's a tea towel this is a tea towel and this is what it looks like before it's all made up into a teepee holder see and I am going to show you how I put it together I should have ironed it oh I hate when I do that you know, I've seen curtains online on the internet, on people's shops, people's websites, and they'll take a picture of the curtain and they haven't, they haven't ironed it. I'm like, oh my gosh, who does that? Okay, so yeah, I didn't iron this, and obviously I'm not going to stop and do it now, but when it's finished, I'll iron it. So this is the first step in doing this. Okay, I'll move back a little. So you see it's not that, and I don't know the dimensions of it. But what you're going to do is you're going to take it to the middle and then you're going to take this part to the middle 
And you're going to overlap it just a little bit. Okay? Just a little bit. Okay? See, I overlapped it. And let's see if it measures the same size as this one. So, yep. Same width. So I know I, I overlapped it just the right way. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue gun. And I'm going to start to um, glue it down. And it has a nice little edge there. So I'm going to do the middle first because that's going to dictate. That's going to hold it so I can do the rest of it, right? I'm trying to get this glue off my fingers. Okay. And of course you have to make sure that the edges match, right? All the way to the end. Got to make sure everything matches. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finger crease this right now so that it stays at the exact width that I need it to as a guide while I'm while I'm um, gluing it down and um, I don't know if some of you are sewers and you're familiar with stitch wonder I think it's called um, it's a kind of um, material that you can use it's sticky on both sides and you can iron it onto things and you can you you can hem your pants with it i forget the name of it right now i think it's called stitch stitch wonder of course it's not stitch under i think it's stitch wonder and I, so what i'm saying is i have used stitch wonder to do this instead of the hot glue but for this one i'm using hot glue hot glue is very good so it's, Haku serves a lot of purposes and can be used in a lot of different crafts. So again, I'm finger creasing this so that it, I get a good match. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, see that I'm in the right place with this. The right, yep, the right width. Yep, there it is. And again, so I'm going to continue to, to glue this down. All the way down to the end. You got to get everything glued down, okay? Even down to the very end here. This, up, oh, this part. Right, right down to the very end. Okay? It's got to be glued. And um, there's a little piece that's sticking out. No, I didn't even put one. Does it prove that I really need this? To, yeah, I do. I do need them. For up close work, I do. Um, it's amazing how handy they come in. So there's a little piece that's sticking out that's, oh, you can see it, right? I'm going to just snip that off because that bothers me. I won't leave that there. Oh, there you go. Okay. I snipped it off. Yeah. So now there you have it. So it's all glued down. And now you're going to take it to the top. Again, see, I'm going to iron it when I'm finished because that's bothering me. So, yeah, so you take it to the top, right? Fold it all the way up to the top. The back, this is the back, this is how the back looks. So you're going to take it all the way to the top. And you are going to, let me see how I did this one. Yeah, you're going to glue it all the way across. Actually, I, oh, you know what? I glued this one, but I actually sewed across the top here. That's what I did. I sewed across the top. What did I? Yeah, I sewed across the top. But somehow it's not showing on the other side. Oh, because it's in the lace, so it doesn't show. But I did sew it all the way across. But for this purposes, and for this one, I'm not going to sew this one, obviously. But you can sew it. And I think I did sew this one. Did I sew the other ones too? Yeah, I sewed both of them. All three of them. I did sew across the top. But again, just, you know, this is for your purposes. And um, as I said, if I do more, which I think I will, I'll probably sew the other ones. But for this purpose, um, I'll just glue it. And, you know, the glue gun, as I said, 
it's really good in keeping things down so you can definitely use the glue gun okay so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to take this across the top like that oh so if you do that then you got to do the inside too you got to glue down the inside so you've got to oh what a mess so you've got to I was going to say you first have to glue the, down the inside before you glue it to the other part of it so that's what I did I glued I glued it down on the inside and now I'm going to glue it down to this part that I think that's why I decided to sew the other ones because this is um it will work but I think sewing is the best obviously so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna glue this part down take it all the way across but you get the idea you get the idea so I'm gonna press that down and as I said it's gonna hold really good with the glue so with the glue gun except with the glue gun if you've used the glue gun before you know the pain is uh, the threads okay so it's down there look at that it's down there it's down there pretty good okay so then that's all you have to do just glue that back part to the top to the front glue it all the way across like that see it's 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 glued it's it's together it's glued down really good glue gun you can use the glue gun trust me some people don't want to be bothered with the um, sewing machine you got to thread it this and that so and then this is the fun part so I got this piece and I'm going to show you how I how I um, make a bow Let's see. I use this one as a um, for how long I made the bow. There you go. So, so this is about the length of a bow. So you cut a piece like that. So I'm gonna cut it right here. Okay, and then with this. This is double-sided, so I don't have to um, I don't have to find the um, the right side. But some some ribbons you have to be careful because they have a right side and, and a wrong side. But this is this is what they call double-sided, so it's the same satin on each side. And so I'm going to put some glue on the end, and then I'm going to attach it. Just overlap it just a bit. Okay. And then you find the middle. This is how you find the middle. You're holding it in your hand and you bring it down like that and that's your middle so you bring that part up to that part. Okay? And then you have a bow. There you have a bow. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut another piece to make the tails. Okay. I'm going to cut another piece to make the tails. And when I gather this together, again, finding the middle, bringing it together like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the middle of this piece. <clears throat> That's the middle, and then I'm going to put that in there, like that, and there you have your tails. So that's the middle. Oh, actually, that goes in the back. Yeah, so. That's the middle. So now you have your bow. And what you do is you take some thread. And 
and you're going to double it. Give it some strength. Sometimes I actually put this on the needle because it's easier to it's easier to do it with the needle. And then you're going to take that thread and you're going to use it to um, you're going to make us you're going to tie it. Both strands, hopefully both strands. You know what I'm trying to do here, right? I'm trying to tie it. Tie it in the middle like that. I, I tied it in the middle and then I'm going to take it around a couple of times just to um, make sure it's in, the, in there. Okay. And then I'm going to bring it around and pass it through again and tie it like that in the middle. You got your tails. And then you're going to cut off all this excess thread. Cut off your excess thread. And um, you have a bow. You, ladies and gentlemen, have a bow. I don't know if any gentlemen are watching, but it could be. Never know. So you have your bow with your tails, right? You have your bow with your tails. And what you're going to do is you're going to glue this to the front. But before you do that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pass a piece of bling around the middle. Attach this bling to the middle. Okay, we'll bring the tails down that way. I think I'm going to pass two pieces of um, bling around this one. So maybe it could have been that way. Let's see. A wider piece. I don't have a wider piece, so I'll have to do two pieces. So the object is to make it really pretty by adding the bling, and then I'm going to add another piece. So that's it's a double piece of bling in the middle. Yeah, this has to go in the middle. You have to get your tails out of the way. So that you I'm not happy with the way this bow came out to tell you the truth. I'm gonna scrap that. I 
Okay. So, let's see. So, I'm going to make my bow. That one's too small, I think. Let me see. No. Make a longer one. It's funny because when you make each one, they all come out different. So I think that's it. That's it. So again, put some glue there. And um, attach that piece. Bring it to the middle. And we're going to scrunch it. Yeah, that's a better, cuter bow. The other one was too big. Okay. And again, I'm going to need some thread. But I need my tails too, don't I? Okay. So I need my tails. Sometimes, if I think my tails are not going to come out right, then what I'll do is I'll just cut this in half. And by the middle, and I'll add the tails in there in the back later. Okay, but the first thing I'll do is I'll make my bow again. See what happened with the other one is if you don't get hmm. I don't know that I used thread the last time to make the middle of the bow. I haven't made these in a while, but um, see the, the object is to get each side of the bow the same size. That's where the problem comes in. And so I'm going to take this around, take it around, take it around. See, you have to be careful because when you do that, then you don't get the uh, both of you exposed at the same. And that's why these are flat, actually. These are flat. Huh. Okay, so instead of scrunching it in the middle, the other thing you can do is just leave it flat like that. Leave it flat like that. Had your tails. Had your tails in the back. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. That's another way. I'm going to uh, glue it in the middle. Right? Had your tails in the back. Had a tail. Add a tail back there, like that, and add the other one on a slant like that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Add one on a slant like that. And so you've got the beginning of a bow that way. And then what you're going to do is when you take your uh, bling, you take it through the middle, and that's how you're going to cinch it. And that's how it comes out like a bow. So you take this around the middle. You're going to first do the top part. You're going to glue that down. And then you're going to make sure you take this around like that and glue it in the back. Um, I know you probably can't see all of this. Sorry about that. So you take it around like that. And there you have a bow. So you can do it that way. That's the easier way to do it, which is probably how I did it before. I was trying to do it in a different way. So... Okay, glue all over my fingers. So there you have your bow. And of course, I will 
I will cut this one on the slant to match that one. Yep, shorter. You gotta match. They have to match. And I gotta take it this way. I've got glue all over my fingers. There you go. So there's your bow. One side is still. They gotta match. There you go. And there's your bow. There's your bow. And then you gotta do your hanger. So your hanger goes in the back. Where's that piece? Oh, can I use can I use one of these pieces? Hmm. No, it's not gonna work. I'm just going to use another piece. I try to save. When things go wrong, you can still salvage. You can still salvage stuff. So this is going to be the hanger. So that's going to go right there. And this is your hanger. And you're going to um, you're going to do it like that so it hangs on the wall really nice. So in other words, you're going to take it. And you're going to do like that, okay, so that your, your hanger comes out like this. When you hang it, it looks nice. So I'm just going to snip that off, and then I'm going to put some glue right under here to keep that together. And then... This gets glued right to the middle. I got that glue on my finger. This gets glued. Put a generous amount because you want it to hold. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. Right in the middle. Glue, 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 glue. You got it when you get when you're crafting and you get glue on your fingers. You gotta get it off because if you don't, then it sticks to your project. So uh, for those of you who craft, you already know this. So that, but that's just for me, okay? So I stuck that one there. See, and sometimes if you um, see, like right now, I don't like the way that this bow is hanging and I'm going to do something right now and then you're going to see the difference. So I don't like the way it's hanging so I'm going to take it and I'm going to spot glue it a little bit so that it hangs like that. And there's the difference. See? See? There's the difference. And so now what's going to happen is this gets glued to the back. Okay? So I'm going to glue this to the very middle. So I'm going to put it here so I can find the very middle of it. And it gets glued that way. So let's see. I'm eyeballing it. That's the middle. Yep. And I'm going to glue this right here. You get the idea what you can do with a tea towel. I haven't made them in a while. And since the spring is coming around really quickly, it'll be around the corner before you know it. I decided to um, show you this. Um, so yeah, that's how you make one. And look at that. That's what you have. A tea towel made into a teepee holder that you can hang in your bathroom. And you know what, again, look at that. Don't like it when it's not ironed. Because look at the difference between that with that big crease in the middle and this one so nicely pressed. So this one is going to get pressed. But you now have, as I said, a teepee hanger, which you can put in your bathroom. And you hang it with this.
Nice. I have like 20, could be more, of these tea towels. So, and I'm going to do other things with these tea towels because they, they make a nice dress for a doll. Or I'll find other things to do with them because uh, I think I'm going to get tired of making teepee holders. So, although I, I enjoyed this project, it came out so nice. It's so, and they're beautiful. Look at that. I love them. Love making them. Yeah. This fabric is so beautiful, soft, nice. So if your bathroom is decorated like this, you know, where you have nice, soft, muted colors, because people decorate all kinds of ways, right? If this matches your bathroom, there you are, a teepee holder. That's it from the back, yeah. There you go. I loved making these projects. And you know what? I, I, I got this out of my stash because I said I was going to put this on it. I thought that would have looked nice. But I kind of like, you know, I love bling. I put bling on everything. So, you, so here I put the bling, right? And imagine with one of these, that would have looked nice. So, as I said, I have more. I'll be making more. So, I'll make one with those flowers on it. So there you have it. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, you saw the, the trials and tribulations and uh, the mishaps and the whatever. That's what you go through when you craft. But you come up with new ways of doing things. Trial and error. Okay? But you get it. And when you do one, you, you know, you'll come up with ideas because you'll while you're in the process, you'll, you'll see things that work and don't work. And you'll find other ways to do things. So you don't necessarily do it the way I do it, but you get the main idea though, right? Because I'll tell you a secret that I just saw. I put the hanger in the back, but with these other ones, as you can see, there's no hanger in the back. But again, as I said, I stitched it all the way across. And what I did with the uh, with the with all three of these that I made, I put the hanger on the inside between these two pieces. And when I, when I sewed it across, the hanger got sewn in the two pieces so I didn't have to glue it on the outside. So see, more than one way to skin a cat. And like I said, when you do it, you'll find your way to do it. So there you go. But you've got the main idea. There you go. So thanks for stopping by. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Share, share, share. Um, and this is another thing I haven't said in my other videos because I'm just getting started on YouTube, so I'm learning. Comment, because if you have questions, you suggestions, you know, like I just said, there are more than one way to do things. So if you have a suggestion, if you find something else to do with these tea towels, because I said I have more, give me a suggestion. But the, the point is, comment. Let's get a dialogue going. So leave your comments. I will answer them back for sure. All right. So thanks for stopping by. You have stopped by Epiphany Blue again, where everything is fabulously handmade just for you. See you next time. Bye.